and uh, how to identify them and what are the mcq points we are going to discuss now so the one very important snake the one very important snake so that is known as so that is the first snake that is known as naja naja okay so naja 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 so this is nothing but common cobra okay common cobra common cobra so the first snake we are going to discuss is the so one we can see the right side in the slide you can see the four snakes the four snakes are there and all the four snakes all the four snakes are comes under big four snakes so the first snake we are going to discuss on your right side on the top so right side on the top so that is the naja naja that is known as common cobra so how to identify naja naja let's see uh, let's write all the four then we'll discuss each in detail okay all the four will write here and each one will discuss uh, in detail about that so the second one so the second one so that is the this is the common crate okay common crate common crate common crate common crate actually common crate and russell's viper russell's viper russell's viper is the third one and the fourth one is the saw scaled viper saw scaled viper so all this comes under big four snakes okay all this comes under big four snakes let us discuss so what are the important points what are the mcq points in the exam that's very common they asked in exam so naja naja all of you remember naja naja so that is nothing but your common cobra so this is the naja naja common cobra and naja naja what are the important feature one is the hood so it is the hood is present hood is there and spectacle mark is there okay the hood is there and the spectacle mark is there spectacle mark spectacle mark is there so whenever you see hood whenever you see spectacle mark it must be a case of naja naja and that must be a common cobra and a common cobra so remember so the one very important mcq is third labial fold third labial fold touches both eye and nostril okay so one more point here third labial fold third labial scale you can say third labial scale third labial scale that touches both eye and nostril that touches both eye and nostril eye and nostril so this is the very important one so i and nostril so yes so if the question asked in exam third labial scale which touches i and nostril so what is that snake the snake must be that is naja naja very commonly asked and naja naja all of you please remember it is a neurotoxic snake it is a neurotoxic snake so neurotoxic means it causes paralysis of the respiratory paralysis it causes respiratory paralysis rp rp means that is respiratory paralysis respiratory paralysis okay okay so naja naja or any any neurotoxic snake it can be common cobra it can be common crate or it can be mamba snake coral snake any 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 toxic snake which is a neurotoxic snake the cause of death most commonly respiratory paralysis there will be paralysis of the muscle that can be ptosis there can be facial muscle weakness uh, that can be dysphagia all this you know the patient will die because of respiratory failure so what is the cause of death in neurotoxic snake bite that is known as respiratory failure okay so that is the first snake we discussed then let's see about common crate common crate okay common crate is also known as bungarus ceruleus okay bungarus bungarus ceruleus okay scientific name also very commonly asked in exam bungarus ceruleus that is the scientific name of the common crate the common crate you can see in the common crate so this is a common crate snake so common crate snake so you can see in bungarus ceruleus are the common crate which has a transverse white line you can see the transverse white line is there and steel black in color 
so what to write transverse white mark transverse transverse white line is there transverse white line is there and also the very important is the uh, that is the transverse white line steel black in color okay steel black in color steel black in color steel black basically it is a color is steel black in color and again common trait is a neurotoxic it is a neurotoxic snake okay it is a neurotoxic snake and remember it the fang marks are very invisible so in common crate fang marks are highly invisible so whenever you see common crate bite basically i have seen at least four or five cases in my life due to common crate bite the fang marks are very very uh, commonly not seen why because the fang marks are highly invisible it resemble like stroke okay it resemble like stroke i'll just write here so it resemble like stroke stroke actually again it is a common crate to the neurotoxic snake as we discussed whatever is the neurotoxic snake cause of death will be respiratory paralysis so there will be froth so there will be ptosis there will be uh, facial muscle weakness and the patient will die because of respiratory uh, paralysis respiratory failure so this is common crate and a common crate is a very very poisonous snake the fatal dose is 6 mg this is also asked in exam 6 mg is the fatal dosage 6 mg is the fatal dosage so all of you write in the chat box 6 mg is the fatal dosage in common crate all of you write 6 mg 3 to 6 mg dried venom can cause death in common crate so time being all of you write in the chat box common crate fatal dosage fd fatal dosage that is 3 to 6 mg it is a very highly toxic snake highly fatal snake then comes is the russell's viper russell's viper so this is the russell's viper so this is russell's viper let's see what are the important features in russell's viper so russell's viper so russell's viper any viper any viper all of you it has a triangular head okay so both they have the both sasquatch viper and this one they both have triangular head okay so triangular head whenever you see triangular head so triangular head it must be russell's viper so it has a triangular head constricted neck broad body and pointed tail so that is the entire description of any viper triangular head constricted neck broad belly pointed tail okay that is the description i'll just write here constricted neck okay constricted constricted neck it has a constricted neck it has a broad belly it has a broad belly broad belly and a pointed tail pointed tail it is so all is going in favor of so that is Uh, Russell's viper as well as Sasquatch viper. Basically, vipers they have triangular head. You can see in the picture in the left side. You can see the two pictures are there. In the, both the pictures, you see it has a triangular head, constricted neck, broad body, pointed tail. Okay, yes. So now, okay. So now uh, we are going to discuss the Russell's viper. So Russell's viper basically it has. a uh, brown color spots okay whenever you see brown spots whenever you see brown spots on the body you can see the brown color spots here so whenever you see brown color spots on the body it must be uh, must be uh, a case of russell's viper sasquatch viper will be having white wavy line okay white wavy line so white wavy line white wavy line you can see on the top most picture of the left side white wavy line you can see so this is a white wavy line you can see on the top okay this is white wavy line so whenever you see white wavy line in the exam your must question must be that is saw scaled viper and the vipers basically they cause they are hemotoxic snake so they are hemotoxic snake so vipers basically they are hemotoxic snake